Up until last week, we had two mother vessels out in the uh, open waters, and um, uh, one of these has just materialized um, beginning of this week, and uh, accompanied by a government statement um, outlining some information about it, but literally, yes, it's just appeared at the detached mole. So what we have now is a ship-to-ship -ship transfer happening inside the harbour. Yes, that's right. The, the mother vessel, which this represents, well, would supply the barges that um, then go out to individual tankers to, to refuel them. Um, and so this tanker would carry, uh, hold a large amount of fuel. Um, and uh, obviously out at sea, um, there are various standards um, in its operational um, systems that uh, are suitable for open sea ship to ship transfers um, and bringing it to shore. Um, have these been modified to, to address those concerns? We're not sure. Um, so yes, we, we have followed the bunkering industry and bunkering impacts for many, many years. Uh, we have seen it grown exponentially with a lot of environmental impacts, oil spills, fumes. Um, by and large, a lot of these have been eliminated by active input from um, different government agencies and the port. So we've be, we have been improving. So uh, what we are concerned to see is that suddenly there has been a significant change um, without the lead up we would expect to see in scoping modeling to you know, modify the activity as has been carried out so far. On windy days like today, uh, one would imagine that the waves and the impact of waves inside the harbour is less significant than it would be out in the bay. And there might be an argument, therefore, that ship-to-ship -ship transfers are safer inside the harbour. Um, yes, I mean, the spills have to be uh, contained. You can't eliminate all spills because, you know, accidents happen. Um, but we're concerned about fumes in the air, uh, reaching what is a very densely populated area. Um, the location is, is one that sees multitude uh, use. You've got uh, military berths, you've got uh, shell uh, fuel tanks, uh, cruise liners nearby. We have uh, water desalination tanks also in the area. Um, and therefore, you know, in, in pressing forward, that this has been almost like a necessity to bring the ship to shore. Um, Government has announced a, a manifesto commitment to transfer the ship to ship to land-based facility. Uh, we have maintained publicly, and it's in our wish list, that we would consider such a transfer to undergo uh, excessive consultation and transparent planning, um, because a land-based operation holding fuel uh, would carry significant environmental costs. But that is what the ESG wants. You want onshore bunkering, don't you? Exactly. I mean, we have to accept that the industry exists. Um, in an ideal world, we would like not to have any oil industry, but we have accepted that that's a reality of a port community like Gibraltar. But we do aspire, and we believe this government also aspires, to following the highest environmental standards. So what? Why we have issued quite a detailed um, release is because we want to outline what we believe um, the environmental implications could be from carrying the ship-to-ship -ship transfer, um, but within our port area, um, and how this could have uh, impact on the community and on the um, environment um, around here. Well, apart from highlighting our concerns, uh, we also plan to contact the government and the port um, now to see exactly what has been planned um, and to bring our concerns directly to them.